Well, hello, hello. So you already know it's me. It's Pastor Garlinda Price with Common Ground Ministries. Shout out to you all. How is your week going so far? Oh my gosh, has the weather not been beautiful? It's like, is that a squirrel? Just kidding. Like my attention span is so short because it's so warm outside, <laughs> right? But I don't know. It looks like it's going to rain tonight here in the sunny state of North Carolina, but we'll see what happens, right? So I have such a great word for you all today. Hot off the press, I should say. No, I'm joking. But normally I'll share with you that God gave me a word for you and it would have been a few days ago, but this was this morning. So excited about it. And so we're going to get right into it. But the reason why I'm on here early is because, as you all know, Marvin and I have a business presentation tonight. Or just in case you don't know, um, go to our page, Dominion Wealth Group, and then you'll see our invitation there. And if you can make it, great. And if not, share the link. It'll make us super happy. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to share with you what thus saith the Lord. So God is so good. So this is what God wanted me to share with you on tonight. You will flourish like a tree planted by the water. Well, what does the word planted mean? And don't think this is a repeat of where I did a video last year talking about planted. Stay tuned for this word, okay? So, um, what does the word planted mean? It means placed in the ground so that it can grow. It means to sow or to scatter seed. Plant also means to place or fix in a specified position. In Psalms 1 and 3, this is the scripture that God gave me this morning. It says, and he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season his leaf also does not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper now the scripture before that because you never want to read a scripture just one and not see how it relates above and beneath right so psalms 1 and 2 references psalms 1 3 by saying but whose delight is in the law of the lord and who meditates meaning to think about on his law day and night so early this morning I saw in a vision right um, I was on this four-lane highway and when I was on the four-lane highway I remember um, stopping because I saw a gentleman outside and so in my vision I'm assuming it was a farmer because he was it was around some crops and so the one thing that the farmer said was uh, no let me go back so i saw in a vision a four-lane highway and a portion of the highway crossed over a body of water like a river on the drive but on the way driving down the road i stopped to speak to a gentleman who appeared to be a farmer and he said wow the crops are doing way better than we expected this year um, they are growing three to four times faster than we expected them to and they're really flourishing so we kept driving down the highway and on each side we noticed that all of the trees and the harvest that they were so tall it was like they were flourishing right and so think of wheat like wheat is usually semi medium tall like it can be I'm five six on a good day right so it can be five six or six feet tall but the wheat was as high as like small pine trees right or as tall pine trees if any of you are in the south y'all know what I'm talking about so they were just really, really tall and just really flourishing, right? And so all along the road, for as far as the eye could see on each side, um, you saw this flourishing, healthy vegetation. And so as we got closer to the river, because I told you that the highway crossed over a body of water that appeared to be, I'm assuming, was a river, the healthiest, choicest, greenest plants were along that part of the, um, the highway. And so... I heard God say the word flourish twice as I was writing, so I wanted to look up the word flourish. And I know you all may be like, well, don't you know what the word flourish means? Well, I do, but I want to know what God means by the word flourish, right? Doesn't matter what I say or what I think it means, and I don't want to assume, God, I'm looking at this definition, and let's see how it relates to the word of God that he has for you on today, right? So it means to grow or to develop in a healthy or vigorous way, especially as the result of a particularly favorable environment right so to grow to thrive to prosper to multiply to increase to proliferate I was like okay what does proliferate mean meaning to increase rapidly in numbers to develop rapidly and successfully so in Latin the word floris I'm sorry floss or floor is a flower and in old French is floris meaning a lengthened stem right 
So it so that's what I saw all along the highway was just flourishing vegetation, and it had, and the farmer said it was growing at three to four times its normal rate, meaning it was happening so rapidly, so vigorously, it was happening so fast. He was amazed at the growth, and it was just flourishing, and it was like a tree planted by the river, right? And so God is saying what He's saying and what He wants me to say to you and share with you is continue to delight ourselves in his law and meditate or think about them day and night and he is showing us that our crops he's showing us that our crops in it he's showing us our crops in advance that we are growing with rapid success because we are in a good environment a godly environment he's saying to remain in that good and godly environment and, that, and in that place with him and because if we continue to do that, we will continue to prosper at a rapid pace, three to four times the pace, advancing so quickly, proliferately, right? <laughs> Pro proliferation, right? That we will continue to prosper and advance and all that we do will prosper and none of it will wither. If we stay the course, our seeds are flourishing in the earth and they are growing at three to four times the normal rate and our increase is growing rapidly our harvests are flourishing and doing extremely well multiplication says the Lord of hosts in Jesus holy and matchless name we pray amen so I was so excited right I already knew it was good when I saw the farmer and he said it's growing rapidly at three to four times the pace but what God is saying is if you would stay in his word stay in trusting and having faith and believing in him that you need to know that he is blessing your seeds to grow three to four times faster than they normally would have that you're on good ground to stay the course stay where you are don't become uprooted you're on good ground you're in a great environment that you are like a well watered plant beside a river like a tree and that you are flourishing and God said he is multiplying rapidly increase in the harvest that's what I heard God say for you on this morning for um for those of us that are within the sound of my voice so I'm excited right I want to do cheetah flips around my own house so God is so good I pray you take this word to heart and even on a day when things don't look like they should look and they don't look like they're flourishing and they don't look like they're prospering it doesn't matter what it looks like because God is always at work and the spirit realm is always at work in terms of the heavens on our behalf right because God fights our fights for us and we love you and thank you and praise you for listening god bless you and have an amazing week i'll talk to you on sunday bye